In a previous video, we saw how we can calculate the resistance value to properly operate an LED. But let's say we want to vary the brightness of the LED digitally or through a potentiometer. What we would need to do is vary the current flowing through the LED. How would we do that? We will replace the current limiting resistor with an N-channel MOSFET. Now, if you don't know what a MOSFET is, then it's essentially like a switch, but it can vary the resistance across its drain and source terminals according to the voltage applied at the gate terminal. Always check the parts datasheet for the gate voltage and drain to source resistance values, but for our circuit, a Z44N will do the job. Now let's take a look at the circuit for varying the current or keeping the current constant regardless of the change in the voltage. If you noticed, we added an extra resistance after the MOSFET. The resistor R, in this case, is of very low value, for example 1 ohm. It is used to measure the current. Then we use an op-amp whose inverting pin is connected between the source terminal of the MOSFET and resistor. The non-inverting terminal is used to set the current value so we can connect a potentiometer or we can also use a microcontroller to set the current digitally via PWM and a filter circuit. Let's see how the current is measured. If the current I is 1 amp, it will be the same through the LED, then through the MOSFET, then through the resistor R, as they all are connected in series. So now we know the value of resistance which is 1 ohm. So now by applying Ohm's law, we can calculate the voltage dropped across the resistor, which is then read by the op-amp on the inverting pin. We can call this as the current measurement feedback. If you don't know what an op-amp is, then it's a device who will try to keep both its input, which is inverting and non-inverting at the same voltage level when operated in an closed loop circuit like this. Okay, so now our circuit can read the current, but how will it vary it or keep it constant? Let's take a look at it now. Let's say we set the potentiometer to about 0.5 volts. According to the working of the op-amp, the inverting terminal should also be at 0.5 volts, which in this circuit is results as about 500 milliamps through the LED. But the current is dependent on the MOSFET, whose gate is connected to the output of the op-amp, hence it's a closed loop circuit. Now when we set the potentiometer, the op-amp will turn on the MOSFET until the inverting pin reaches the same voltage level. Then it will try and keep the current constant. As the current setting is heavily dependent on the resistor R, a low tolerance and high power rated shunt resistor is mandatory for this purpose. Now let's make this circuit on a breadboard and test it out. As we can see, I have mounted all the components on the breadboard. This is the MOSFET that I will be using which is an IRF Z44N. I will connect a 10 watt LED to its train. Then this is the 1 ohm resistor that is included in the diagram. For the op-amp, I will be using an LM358IC. Then for the potentiometer, I will be using a small trimmer. And then I made all the connections according to the circuit diagram. If we connect the power supply and turn the circuit on and then rotate the potentiometer, we can see the LED starts glowing and on the right we can see on the multimeter uh, the exact current that is flowing through the LED and we can vary the current using the potentiometer and if we set the potentiometer or we set the current to a particular value, it will hold the current at that value. So we can say our circuit works. A thing to note that why the LED is flickering because of the loose contacts on the breadboard. So if we want to make a proper circuit out of it, we should always solder it to a general purpose PCB. If you found this video useful, then do give it a like, share this video and subscribe to the channel to see much more videos like this. Thanks for watching.